Hi everyone, I'm Rina. Every stages of my life, from childhood to middle age adult, God always appeared to me in many ways. And He never gave up until He wins me back. I grew up in the family of Catholic with idolized images, practicing traditional beliefs and reciting repetition prayers. I went to church because I had a new dress and my mother promised me that we would eat in Jollibee and went to the mall to buy me new clothes. I took advantage of being a favorite daughter. I became spoiled, I lied, I spurred myself in punishment. I became greedy and disobedient and I didn't care of my mother. My childhood life was quiet boring. I normally stayed home alone. Reading books became my hobby that made me more anxious and had fears in my life. One day, I made fun of reading newspaper. I saw an advertisement that I could study Bible through meals. The lesson was about the creation and salvation. I did join it. After finishing the course, I became curious for a while. But afterwards, there was nothing changed with regards of my character. I became more sensitive and hot-headed. During my adolescence years, I met a girl who was a transferee in our school. She became my closest friend. Her family is born-again Christians. She shared to me the creation and salvation again, and I started joining church meetings. But after graduation, we all parted in our own ways and no communication. During my college years, I transferred from Catholic school to non-sectarian school. So I had a hard time of adjusting and making friends. I met a girl my classmate in one subject. She is a Christian also and, and again she shared to me the salvation. We always read Bible and had sharing during our vacant time. However, we're in the different and schedule as we go in our senior year. We seldom met each other until graduation. Adulthood began my life became more complicated because I started to have my own family and Life really became tough and I struggled a lot. I worked hard for a living for my kids. I focused more on working and to my family. I even forgot to go to church because I was really too tired. In the middle of my adulthood, my mother became a Christian and kept encouraging me to join her. She kept on praying for me to repent and submit myself to the Lord. Life became harder to the point that I needed to work abroad in Saudi and now in Hong Kong. My sister prayed that I could come here to work and join her together in English fellowship. October 9, 2016 was my first visit in Shunwan Meeting Place. I was happy and I felt the love and warm welcome of the sisters. Searching for so many years, now I am glad that I can partake in God's family and I was baptized on December 4, 2016. The Lord never gives up on me. My old self was gone. Now I care of others and learn to love others as much as myself. I learn to give with bliss too. My life now is focused to the Lord. I am not afraid to face any problem because now the Lord is with me. Though I'm still experiencing troubles that sometimes weaken my faith. I know for sure 
that God is always beside me and accompany me throughout my journey. He called me many times. He appeared to me many times. I also ignore him many times. But finally, I'm home and in God's warm family. We won the victory. I'm forever belongs to the Lord and the Lord belongs to me.